Hey, good morning. It's Monday. It is really late today, so we're going to keep this um, just really quick. Um, we had a great uh, elders meeting this morning and great conversation about things that are happening uh, here at Westway Christian Church and things that are going to be happening at Westway. So um, just really excited, but it went long, so um, that cuts into this time. Um, so we'll make, uh, we'll make today quick. Um, if you have your Bible, I'd love for you to open it to, uh, Philippians, um, Philippians chapter three. Um, we are literally just gonna, we're just gonna read one verse this morning, um, and talk about one verse from Philippians chapter three. So, um, there are a lot of you guys on right now. That's awesome. Um, Good morning to Lori and Lori and Ruth and Tony and Roseanne, uh, Chris and Wanda, um, Callie. Good morning. I'm really thankful to see you guys. Um, I think Philippians 3.1 is just a powerful, um, powerful verse uh, for us. So remember, Paul's in prison, and he's saying that the work of the gospel goes on regardless of his situations and circumstances. And uh, good morning, Lisa. Um, the gospel of Jesus goes on regardless of situations and circumstances and what our role is in that and being faithful to God and um, how we're supposed to live as citizens of heaven. We're supposed to uh, copy and emulate Jesus in the way that um, he uh, considered himself, um, Considered equality with God is not something to be clung to, but but submitted to God. Um, I think there are so many things for us in that. Um, Paul talks about uh, Timothy and Epaphroditus and and just the the way that they have encouraged him and the way that they encouraged others. So Philippians three one, um, Paul uh, Paul just writes this. He says, "Whatever happens, my dear brothers and sisters." Rejoice in the Lord. I never get tired of telling you these things, and I do it to safeguard your faith. So I guess, I guess ultimately, with one verse of conversation, um, it's simple. Regardless of the situations and circumstances um, that we face in our lives, um, we are to rejoice in the Lord. We are to find our satisfaction in the Lord. I love that Paul says, I never get tired of telling you these things, and I do it to safeguard your faith. I think we have to remember that um, we talked about this yesterday during our 1015. We have to remember that we have, um, we have like a very real enemy who is in a, in a very real war against us. And when we allow our circumstances to dictate the way we do or don't worship God, um, we are putting our relationship with God in jeopardy. Um, we, are, um, we are at risk of, of walking away from our relationship with God. We have to take... We have to take this seriously we have to take the hope of christ seriously in our lives i need to do it in mine i need to be more faithful um i need to not get bogged down um, by the situations and circumstances in my life but to see christ at work amidst them so i told you this was going to be short today um i want you to rejoice in the lord in whatever happens. However your day goes, whether it's good or bad, regardless of the situations and circumstances, I want you today, and I'm going to effort this today, to rejoice in what the Lord, um, in what the Lord has done, in the salvation that he has offered me um, through, through Jesus. I'm going to rejoice in that today. And it would do you well um, I'll be just like Paul. Do it to safeguard your faith. It would do you well to not be bogged down by your situations and circumstances and allow that to impact 
and affect the way you interact with God. Rejoice in him today. So let's pray. God, I'm thankful for this brief moment that we've had. I'm thankful for this encouragement. Help us to rejoice in you in all things. Help us to see um, that, that we need to hear this message. It's easy for us to get bogged down by the hardships in life, but what you, you, the remedy for that is knowing who you are and what you have done for us be through your Son, Jesus Christ. So I pray that we would rest and trust in that hope today. And it's in your Son, Jesus' name that we pray. Amen. I love you guys, and I'm praying with you, and I'm praying for you on this cold day today. Um, tomorrow we're going to pick up, um, probably we'll start off again with verse 1 from chapter 3 from Philippians at 7 a.m. I would encourage you to read um, all of Philippians up to this point and then read chapter 3. Um, it'll take you just a few minutes, um, but certainly read um, certainly read chapter chapter 3 of Philippians uh, before tomorrow morning, and we'll pick up here in the morning at 7 a.m. Love you guys, praying with you, praying for you. Stay warm. Um, I know I'm going to, so we'll see you tomorrow.